Hi, I'm Billy from Trevello and I'm here today to talk about the form Smart Swim 2.0 goggles. I've been testing the goggles for a few weeks now, probably about six weeks. I've been using them in training indoor and outdoor. Um, first time I've used any of these. We've reviewed the earlier model before, one of the other team did those um, and I thought come doing quite a lot of swimming at the moment, I'd have a go and review them myself. So what have you got in the box? Nice box, nice packaging, nicely branded. Open up. Charging cable, USB with a magnetic charging point. Clips on the side of the goggles and you charge them up. Charging case, nice bit of branding again. Uh, inside, I've got the goggles. Just got the goggles. Ready to go. As you can see, they're asymmetrical. This side we've got the battery, sensors, um, all the computer gubbins, the sort of transfer and Bluetooth mechanism all sits in here. It's also got the heart rate mechanism, so that sits on your temple, takes your heart rate, captures it. Buttons on the bottom for managing the menus, two buttons kind of up and down, and the charging point that clips on is on there. Just to connect in. Quite tricky for me to show you the the screen as you go through. If you can look in, you can just about see the screen content that sits in the middle of that lens, and that's what you see as you're swimming on the bottom of the pool. Really interesting set of information that comes up. You can tailor the dashboards um, from the app, and you can set up what you see as you're swimming. Um, it can give you uh, real-time information in terms of your swim, swim speed, number of laps, um, total lap swim time, all of that kind of coming up for you to see. Also, you've got your heart rate monitor running there, so you get your heart rate. Um, I've swum with various heart rate monitors before, but obviously not had the real-time information in the pool. So quite interesting to see that as you're swimming. So what else do the goggles do apart from show you the information? One of the things I hadn't really tweaked um, from using them is that with a subscription you get access to the head coach. Head coach allows you to use um, coaching techniques whilst you're in the water, whilst you're swimming. The main one I use that it picked up on is I had gotten into a bit of a habit of swimming with my head too far down, had my head tucked down too far, looking straight down the bottom of the pool um, as I was in the water and it scored me for that pretty low recommended I did some training exercises to improve it. So as I was swimming, um, it created the kind of pitch elevation of my head. I could see real time. And when I was looking too far down, I, the, uh, the sensor kind of showed it and I had to bring my head up. Um, changed that um, directly as a result of using these. I probably wouldn't have picked up on that even with swim coach that was with me. It would be not particularly easy to spot or give real kind of information against it. So that was really useful. What else does it see? The other thing it did that I found really useful was I could select workouts from the mobile app. Um, I could choose a workout based on how long I was going to be swimming for. That workout would then kind of be loaded into the goggles. I could go and then I could just jump in the pool and literally done a thing about it again. No lap counting, no thinking what's coming next, no wet piece of paper side of pool with your routine written on them. I would literally get a countdown, go, have my rest already programmed in, I'd stop go again, type of stroke, type of exercise, all be kind of telling me exactly what to do. And I basically could just swim, um, which I found really useful, um, really handy to be able to have sort of customizable workouts I could use, take them in the pool, just go on and swim and get the, the kind of guidance to kind of swim through, as well as that feedback in terms of how the session was going. If you want to know more about how they work, because they are pretty techy, um, I recommend kind of have a look on our website. We've got um, a couple of dedicated pages. I put a page together in terms of how the form swim score works, as well as the review. And I've also put a page together on how the technology works. That was from some interviews we did with the team over at form. Um, they were generous enough to kind of give us access to the people kind of behind them. Uh, and that helped kind of put together some of the more detailed stuff that probably would, you might be worth having a look at. My overall rating behind these is they are really good. Um, it is a really unique piece of kit to have for your swimming, something I've not been able to use before. They're expensive, um, you know, a couple hundred quid in the UK um, to buy. 
and in reality I'd want a decent set of goggles to use as well. I wouldn't want to swim with these all the time. My biggest gripe with them, um, and probably the only gripe I had with them, was I couldn't quite get the, the, the seal around my eyes to be perfect on the right hand lens. Um, I found the larger kind of fit module on the side meant when I was pushing off hard at the beginning of a lap, um, the seal broke slightly and they let me a little bit of water and I had to have the strap pretty tight to stop that happening, which meant they kind of could get a bit uncomfortable over kind of if I swimming for over an hour. Um, that's probably my only complaint other than the cost. Um, would I have a pair? Yes, I would have a pair. I think periodically <coughs> when I'm doing specific sets, it's great to have them. Great to have that information that I could capture and have sight of what I'm doing. Um, like I said, I'd also want to have a normal set of goals as well, um, either for racing or, or other things. The other reason why I think it'd be worth having them that they are really unique is, is outdoor swimming. The um, compass GPS kind of tracking piece to help you swim straight is is pretty awesome. Um, I'm I'm not too bad as a kind of weavy swimmer, but if you really struggle with sighting, I can't really beat the fact it's just literally there a guide kind of pointing you in the right direction. So for that, you know, that's probably worth a look as well. Um, but overall, kind of you know, really great bit of kit. Um, please read the review. The link will be in the um, in the notes below this. Um, and if you want to find out more about them, please reach out to me, respond to all the comments, um, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks, everyone.